Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical expression. Cube root of 55 plus 63 times root 2. First we suppose that uh, let x is equal to cube root of 55 plus 63 times root 2. And uh, y is equal to cube root of 63 times uh, root 2 minus 55. And if we take a cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, x cubed is equal to 55 plus uh, 63 times uh, root 2. And if we take cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, y cubed is equal to 63 times uh, root 2 minus 55. From this equation we subtract this equation. This implies that uh, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 55 plus uh, 63 times uh, root 2 minus 63 times uh, root 2 minus 55. And we remove these brackets. This will become 55 plus uh, 63 times uh, root 2 minus 63 times uh, root 2 plus uh, 55. This negative 63 times root 2 will be considered over this positive 63 times root 2 and uh, this will become uh, 55 plus 55 110. So x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 110. Let's call this equation equation 1. Now we find the product of uh, this equation and this equation. So x times uh, y will be equal to cube root of 55 plus uh, 63 times uh, root 2 times uh, cube root of 63 times uh, root 2 minus 55. Next, x times y is equal to, this will become cube root of, this 55 plus 63 times root 2 can be written as 63 times root 2 plus 55. And we multiply this expression by, this expression 63 times uh, root 2 minus 55. X, x times y is equal to, by using this algebraic identity, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This will become cube root of 63 times uh, root 2 squared minus 55 squared. Next, x times y is equal to cube root of this uh, 63 times uh, root 2 whole squared is equal to 7938 minus uh, 55 squared is equal to 3025. Next, x times y is equal to cube root of this will become 4913 and the cube root of 4913 is equal to 17 so this will become x times y is equal to 17 let's call this equation equation 2 we copy this equation 1 here equation 1 is uh, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 110. This is equation 1. From equation 1, this x cubed minus y cubed can be factorized as x minus y times x squared plus y squared plus xy is equal to 110. Next, x 
minus y times this x squared plus y squared can be written as x minus y whole squared plus 2xy plus this xy is equal to 110 x x minus y times x minus y whole squared this will become plus 3 times x y is equal to 110 now we distribute this x minus y so x minus y times x minus y whole squared will become x minus y whole cubed plus x minus y times this 3xy will become 3 times xy times x minus y is equal to 110. Now in this equation we replace this xy with this value of xy 17 from equation 2. So this will become x minus y whole cubed plus 3 times 17 times x minus y is equal to 110. Next x minus y whole cubed plus 3 times 17 will become 51 times x minus y is equal to 110 and we suppose that x minus y is equal to m so this equation will become m cubed plus 51 times m is equal to 110 move this 110 to the left hand side this will become m cubed plus 51 times m minus 110 is equal to 0 next m cubed plus 51 times m minus this 110 is same as 8 minus 102 is equal to 0 next m cubed plus 51 times m minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed minus 102 is equal to 0 now we make a group of these two terms m cubed and negative 2 cubed so this will become m cubed minus 2 cubed plus this 51 times m minus 102 is equal to 0 now by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this m cubed minus 2 cubed will become m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 and from these two terms 51 m minus 102 we can factor out plus 51 in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0 now this m minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this m minus 2 and in bracket left in bracket left this m squared plus 2m plus 4 and this 51 in bracket left m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 plus 51 is equal to 0 x m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m this 4 plus 51 will become plus 55 is equal to 0 from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 2 times m plus 51 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 2 and from this quadratic equation we see the discriminant b squared minus 
four AC is less than zero or greater than zero. So this will be equal to two squared minus four times one times fifty one, and this is equal to four minus two hundred and twenty, and this is equal to negative two hundred and sixteen, which is less than zero. So no real solutions can be found from this equation. We accept only this value of m two. Now recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x minus y is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x minus y is equal to m. So this will become x minus y is equal to two. And we recall equation two. Equation two is x times y is equal to seventeen. Equation two is uh, x times y is equal to seventeen. And from this equation, we move this uh, y to the right hand side and this two to the left hand side. So this implies that uh, y is equal to x minus two. And in this equation, we replace this y. With this value x minus two, so this will become x times x minus two is equal to seventeen. X times x is x squared, and x times negative two, negative two x. Move this seventeen to the left hand side. This will become negative seventeen is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative two plus or minus square root of. In place of b squared, we write negative two squared minus four times a is one times c is negative seventeen divided by two times a is one x x. Is equal to negative times negative two will become positive two plus or minus square root of this negative two squared will become four and negative four times one times negative seventeen will become plus sixty eight divided by two times one two and this is equal to two. Plus minus uh, square root of seventy two divided by two, and x will be equal to two plus minus. This uh, square root of seventy two can be written as uh, root thirty six times uh, root two divided by two, and this is equal to two plus minus uh, root thirty six will become six. Times root two divided by two. X x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out two. In back left one plus minus three times root two divided by two. So this two will be cancelled out with this two. From here we get two values of x. X is equal to one plus three times root two. And uh, x is equal to one minus uh, three times root two. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x is equal to cube root of fifty-five plus sixty-three times root two. We have supposed that uh, x. Is equal to cube root of fifty-five plus sixty-three times root two, and because the right-hand side of this equation is greater than zero, so this x must be greater than zero. And this value of x one minus three times root two is less than zero. This will be rejected, and this is the final answer of. this problem